Yeah, I'm still here. We're trying to get the live up. Uh, I can go uh, right now. I don't have a guest because we got moved along and everybody we were with got moved along too. But I can tell you what just happened and I think, and I can tell you what the Philadelphia captain told me. Um, all right, well, whenever you're ready. You framed up, Mike? All right. Captain Lewis? No, no, the other guy that was with us. His name's Chris. If you see him, holler for him. That's the young guy. The guy in the he's walking right now. Oh, no, I, I know that. No, he's all right. Well, no, I mean, but that's uh, that's groundwork that's been well established throughout today. As we said before, there have been numerous reporters and photojournalists arrested here today. Uh, reporters from the Associated Press, the New York Daily News, New Zealand Television, uh, and others. Now, I, I was simply moved along. I suppose there's no better way for a reporter to get a taste of exactly what the protesters are feeling uh, than to be moved along with the rest of the protesters. It's important to point out that we were speaking with a retired Philadelphia police captain who was here uh, hand in hand with the protesters. In fact, he was carrying a sign that said NYPD 
don't be mercenaries for Wall Street. And that's a sentiment that was not going over well uh, with the New York Police Department personnel who were on duty here at, at Occupy Wall Street today. It's also important to note that we were in that spot for a good 45 minutes ever since 6.30 New York City time. It was a good place right across from the park where we could talk to protesters and really get a good sense of what was going on. It is, uh, it's, it's interesting to note that the interview was broken up right in the middle of the interview with Captain Lewis, who had some very choice words and sentiments for the behavior of the New York City Police Department. Now, protesters have been allowed into the park, uh, but the police are very much on the move right now. Uh, let's remember that the protesters were moved out last night. The excuse given from New York City officials that it was that the park needed to be straightened out and cleaned. That's now off the table. That excuse can't be used anymore since the park was cleaned with power washers last night. The people who have been allowed back into the park are only allowed in with small bags. We spoke with one protester who had his life's possessions on his back. It only made for a small backpack, but he was not allowed into the park with that on his back. Uh, so protesters are being allowed into the park, but not with possessions and certainly not with anything that resembles any kind of camping gear. The New York City police are going to need some new reasons to arrest people tonight, but they may yet uh, come up with them because, again, the New York police are on the move here at Zuccotti Park, and we got a taste of that just a short while ago. We're live here at Zuccotti Park. Back to you. Well, it, it, it's it's. Really, you want to come talk to me? Come on live with me and tell me the story. Mike, let him through. That's a small backpack. What's your name, sir? Oh, my name is Jim Ryan. Jim Ryan, it's a pleasure to meet you. Listen, uh, we are live right now, not at the moment. They're going to somebody else, but they'll come back to me. I want you to just break down what your experience was trying to get into the park with your backpack. Hold the backpack here so we can okay. see how big it is. And, and I want to know what, what it was that he said to you. Okay. Are you a long-range protester? You've been here for a while, Jim. No, my third time here. But I'm a Fair New enough, though. Teacher, sure. Fourth time, New York City school teacher. I've been uh, dealing with this in my participation in government class, and uh, we brought class trip here with our students to interview protesters. Good call. I'm going to pull you in. Okay, so you're good right there. Thank you, Mr. Ryan. No Glad to hear what you're saying. It may take a minute. Yeah, no problem. Mr. Ryan, what's in your backpack? A couple of books, a snack? Just wondering. Yeah, it's 
just my school papers. I mean, right. I've got my, Your class is homework and whatever. Yeah. All right. You know, some of my personal items, like something that's... Everybody like carries a bag like, like that in this town, and mine's right there. Same size, same I mean, bag. I was on my way home from school. Right. And I take the R train, and I stopped off here to see what was going on, and, you know, to expect me to not be carrying my backpack to and from school is ridiculous. But I can't go in there with it.